Hi Sports, I'm here with Mark Mason from Forest in the Community. He's here to talk to us about sport development and the general benefits of sport. How are you Mark, you alright? Yes mate, I'm fine, you? Good, I'm good, thank you. Uh, just to start as well, can you explain what sport development is please? Well, sport development, it's growth within like the sport. It gets more kids involved in sport and uh, it's, it's growing population. Because we, we go into schools and we do try and get out that sport is necessary in your life. So, yeah. Okay, cheers. Um, could you kind of outline some physical benefits for us of sport? Uh, for one, better health, so reduces injuries and it's a much more healthy lifestyle. Um, a longer lifespan. Well, we try and engage older people to try and get involved. So it's, we are, we're trying to set out the point to try and, because old people, they're in, they just sit there and just, they are scared to, uh, they're scared to, actually do sport but we're here to try and make it out but it's not try and get him involved so um yeah next okay um what about some psychological benefits that you could uh, explain well to you, please? for one there is great confidence some kids these days ain't got a lot of confidence they don't they're, they're dead shy they don't like talking to people they don't like meeting new people so really it is it's a greater confidence in them. It gives them self-belief. Um, another one, there is improved sleep. It reduces stress. It's a lot, lot more healthy. It reduces the mind, so your mind's not working as fast. So you're not worried about anything. Um, next. Uh, what's the importance about with sport? Like, what's the importance within? communities really well really is in some communities there's a lot of knife crime gun crime and just some some young kids they're getting involved they think it's okay i mean some some like kids parents they've they haven't been like brought up some well should i say some parents haven't been brought up in sport and they've they think it's a waste of time then that kid's just gonna think it's there's no point they ain't gonna do no for me but really it can it can send them the right way they could be an ex-footballer, it could be in the Olympics or anything really, so. Okay, very good. Um, what about how can sport kind of reduce smoking and uh, alcohol and drug abuse? Well, one, everyone, no enough everyone does love playing sport, like football. They've, they like, uh, they, it's a lot more healthy for them. It reduces, reduces their mind. They, don't get into the wrong sort of crowd for a starter. Uh, if you if you do smoke and you play sport, it's not gonna it's gonna affect you big time because you can't breathe as as you just want to. You get out you get like asthma and it, it can drugs. It's it's a bad one on sport. You can't play. It just it sends you wild. Okay, how can um, how can sport get different communities involved? Like different from people from different backgrounds from different countries. How can how can they all get involved together using sport? Well, like I say, it's a nation-wide sport is. It's the most fun, it, you can have so much fun out of it. We can we can get people who's like confident or nervous about sport, like, it's like foreign players, they can be, foreign players can be the best footballers in the world. And English people could take offence to it, but in some way it's a learning curve, we can get out there. Yeah, and load off the players. Yeah. Very good, Mark. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you for Thank you very much. Back to you in the studio.